Hi, good morning. Jeff Merrill from Nordhaven. and I want to show you a Nordhaven 55 passing me in the background. Many people are very familiar with the Nordhaven Trawler brand, but they're not as familiar with the Nordhaven Motor Sailors. And we're on board today, hull number two of the Nordhaven Motor Sailor. The, the Motor Sailor is a 56 foot sailing boat that also happens to be a very good power boat. I'm up on the foredeck and I want to show you a couple of the features here this morning. First of all, I'm standing about six feet off the water. It's very high off the water. It's a very nice bow, which is a good sea kindly shape for going through the oceans. And that's what this boat's designed for. The stainless steel railing that we have for the rails, instead of having just stanchions with lifelines, we have taken some of our Nordhaven trawler thinking and brought it onto this sailboat. So you have good high supports to protect you when you're coming up here, something nice to grab onto, something to keep you from falling overboard. All the way up forward, we have a standard arrangement with a very beautiful stainless steel base double anchor roller. That's actually a 105 pound stainless steel plow anchor that comes with the boat and 400 feet of chain. The rollers work so that you can launch one anchor, get it deployed, and then come back and put a secondary anchor if you want to. The windlass is a Maxwell 3500 electric, which has a nice uh, gypsy chain wheel for the chain and also has a rope capstan. Uh, you can release it and use either the chain or the capstan for anchoring and, and for, for both launching and retrieving your anchor. We have a, a chain stopper also on board here to uh, take the load off the, uh, the windlass. And um, then for sailing, and this is kind of fun to talk about sailing on a Nordhaven, we have a beautiful roller furling hydraulic uh, head cell up here. And this, this is a 140% roller furling Genoa that's nicely tucked in place. You'll notice that the jib sheet lines or the Genoa sheet lines come down over my head and they actually lead back aft to two hydraulic primary winches which we'll show you when we get down to that part of the deck. But while we're still up forward here, I want to also point out another beautiful thing that you won't see on any other Nordhavens unless you're on a motor sailor and that is a sail locker. We have a beautiful sail locker right up forward, the Lumar hatch. Down in this locker you can store all your sails, your lines, etc. All right, well, there were five nice teak steps there to help get me in and out of the sail locker. Dog this down. And before we leave the foredeck, I want to point out a couple more things. We do have the foot buttons right here for the windlass, so you can actually use your feet to bring the chain in or send the chain out. We also have an electric control in the pilot house that will also do that. Uh, I like to be up here when I'm bringing the anchor in just to bring it in nice and easy. So very comfortable, very easy to get to. Before I leave the foredeck area, I do want to point out one other feature. We have salt water, or seawater, depending on what kind of water you're in, and freshwater washdowns up here, which is wonderful for getting all the muck and goo off the chain. It's also nice for just rinsing down the boat uh, if you haven't had a nice rainstorm recently to help clean the deck off. So I'm going to now head back down aft along the port side here and show you some of the features of the sailing cockpit. Okay, for your dock lines up forward, we have these nice 16-inch uh, backing plated uh, cleats in place, stainless steel, that they lead to a nice built-in bollard hose pipe uh, that will allow you to have a good fair lead. The line won't jump out of there. Very easy to feed, very easy to, uh, to release when you're coming into the dock or leaving. So, and again, I've got these nice solid handrails to support me as I'm walking along. Um, just aft of the chain locker is the forward guest stateroom area, and there are ventilation hatches here and if you follow me along, I have a nice, easy walkway to go down to the back of the boat. As I work my way aft, I'd like to also uh, demonstrate that we have Dorade vents, both on port and starboard side. These are air scoops that bring fresh air down to the cabins below. In a big seaway, you may want to rotate the scoop away from the water, or you can completely release this Dorade vent and put a stainless steel plate to cover it. So I'll leave it how I found it. There's a very nice rail that protects it and gives you more support as you come up to the foredeck. I'm comfortably supporting myself on the handrails here that protect the derade vent. I also have the forward lower shroud right here to grab onto. So in a big seaway when we're not at a nice gentle dock with some sun, I've got plenty of things to hang on to and a nice easy transit going up to the foredeck or back to the sailing cockpit or back inside the boat. The chain plates that uh, Da Xing, our boat builder for the uh, Motor Sailor 56 have installed are incredible. They're, they're extremely robust stainless steel chain plates tied all the way down into the hull. The nice side deck also has the upper shroud and the aft lower shroud. There's a little step down, which gives me great access back to the inside of the boat. But to get into the sailing cockpit, which is one of the huge features of the Motor Sailor 56, it's very easy just to walk right in and grab
grab the helm. The sailing cockpit of the Motor Sailor 56 is one of the most brilliant ideas that Jeff Leishman's ever had. You have a beautiful well right here in the center of the boat and you can steer the boat, you can look at all the sails, you can do everything on the outside and you're not stuck back behind the boat in the back of the boat. It's kind of like a mid-cockpit, a center cockpit sailboat design and it, it's just a fantastic place to be. There's plenty of seating around here for a big crew and I have great ability to see all around the boat and I can control the boat here. The helm is very easy, very responsive. I have my forward neutral reverse shift lever, my throttle for giving me more RPMs, my important uh, instrument controls for the engine are right here. The binnacle guard up here forward also gives me a nice handrail to support myself. Again, and we have a nice uh, compass right here forward, engine alarms, coolant uh, temperature, oil pressure, your RPMs, a start and stop button right here, emergency shut off for the hydraulics if you need to, and the horn if you need to alert somebody of your presence. The spars on the Motor Sailor 56 are provided by Force Spar, a good local company who we've been doing business with for the last 30 years. I don't think I've mentioned it, but we built all the Mason sailboats before we went into the Nordhaven line, so people at PAE have a great experience with building sailboats. It's been kind of fun to go from sailboats to trawlers and then backfill in that missing link, as I like to think of it, with the Motor Sailor. But we have a keel-stepped spar. Later on, we'll show you down in the engine room how that's seated. And up on the boom, the boom is a leisure furl, uh, self-furling mainsail. So the mainsail is full battened and it'll nicely tuck into the leisure furl boom. Leisure furl booms are quite heavy and so we use a very nice Navtech hydraulic boom bank. This big black cylinder right here is the boom bank, which puts pressure on the boom to help with sail shape. It also helps support the mast in the, sorry, support the boom in the, le in the leisure furl mainsail up in there. All the controls come down from the rigging up top down to be easily operated from the cockpit and you even have some mast steps, folding mast steps built in to make it easy to get up there if you need to untangle something that might have happened up here at the gooseneck. Standing on the seating area in the, in the forward part of the cockpit, I want to show you the main sheet which has this nice self-tailing winch, very easy to get to. This is hydraulically operated by a push button right behind me over here, so very easy to get to, very easy to trim your sails. For adjusting halyards, we have a hydraulic self-tailing winch right up here forward of the uh, sailing cockpit and control buttons for the main sheet and the bang all easily uh, reached over here on the starboard side forward of this cockpit well. Four Spar's Leisure Furl in-boom mainsail controls is a fantastic setup. We're up here at the forward end. This is the gooseneck where the, the mast and the boom come together. But you'll notice that the furled up mainsail has a nice luff tape on it that luff tape from the headboard car is inserted into the sleeve right, right here, which is a luff tape to help hoist the sail up. The in-boom furling is controlled and, and there's a backup tailing winch just forward of the mast. So you have to keep the slack on this through the little rope clutch down below me here. But it's a very easy system, as you'll see later on, to go up and down and raise and lower that mainsail. The advantage of this is that it keeps the sail weight down low when it's not being used and you can also have full batten main. If you had a furling system on the back end of the mast like some sailboat builders do, then you don't get the sail shape that the full battens would give you. It's very easy to get around on the deck of the Motor Sailor 56. I'm on the starboard side deck right now. I've just hopped out from inside the sailing cockpit and I want to show you that the little area between the outboard side deck and the sailing cockpit is actually right above the galley on this side. It's a very nice little hallway in here with the bend hatch right above the stove which I can see right down through the hatch. But I have great handrails again my outboard Genoa tracks. The galley, which is right below me here, has two big windows, and I have all, of course, the visibility of the uh, pilot house right here. There's a brilliant stainless steel handrail that just tucks in nicely, so I have great support. When I'm at dock and I want to get off the boat from here, there's a quick release boarding gate right here, so I can have a swim, uh, a, a dock ladder right here to get on and off the boat, just undo the lifeline here in the center, and I'm in and out, bringing people in on, and out, off the boat. So here I'm, I'm using the Genoa primary tailing winch and if I want to ease, I can just easily ease out the sail. If I want to furl in, I have a little button right here that I can push and it'll spin the winch to bring the Genoa sheet in. I can also control the furling of the head salt with these two buttons right here and you'll notice these are very close to the door that leads right into the interior pilot house. When you arrive in Paradise, you'll probably have to clear in with customs, and so you'll need to tie your boat up at the dock. So we've designed a very nice hose pipe with horn arrangement here for spring lines, and it's very convenient right outside the, uh, the door to the pilot house. 
And you also probably, even though you've been sailing, you might need to add a little more fuel to the boat. And we have a diesel fuel fill vent and, and fill right here just forward of the, uh, of the winch. An important consideration on all Nordhavens is clearing water off the decks. You will take waves over the side, particularly if you're heeling over on the motor sailor. So we actually have two freeing ports molded into the side of the hull and three big deck drains back here. So any water that does come aboard will have a quick way off. We also have a very high raised sill by the, um, the door that leads you into the pilot house. So that'll help keep the water out of the boat as well. Now on the pilot house roof, which is right above the pilot house, this is what we also call the boat deck because normally you'd have a tender right back here behind me. From up here though, I have a great view of the sails and I also want to point out there's a hatch that's right above the helm chair. So when you're actually sailing the boat from inside and you're not using the forward cockpit, you can look up through this hatch and see the shape of the sails to help you with your trim. Coming back all the way aft, we have a built-in radar mount here, which you can put your electronics on. There are antennas for VHF, single sideband, radar, GPS, all your normal electronics. And then the way I got up here was coming up a set of stairs from the back deck, the back cockpit, up through a hatch right here. Another re real nice feature of having a boom and taking advantage of being a sailboat is that we have an electric winch built into the boom right here, which is used for raising and lowering the dinghy or the tender uh, in and out of the water. One of the first things I wanted to point out as we're at the back of the boat, the stern of the boat, is there's a very nice swim platform. Very nice for boarding. I can board from either side. There's a nice rail here to protect someone who's back aft. There's even a small little swim ladder here for coming in out of the water from swimming. The shore power, which is an important consideration for any kind of boat like this, is cleanly detailed back in the aft area here with shore power in for your house uh, batteries as well as for the air conditioning and television. The aft deck or the cockpit area is easy to get to. I step right up through the center here and there's also a boarding door on the starboard side to make it easy if I have a dock step or someone needs to get in from the side. The aft deck has a fiberglass hard top cover which is also doubles as the boat deck for the tender. And as you come around the side you'll notice that we have beautiful teak cap rail here. On Adam Marie the selection was to just leave it alone. You could also varnish it. You can put cockpit cushions back here if you'd like, rod holder for fishing. And then you also have the uh, winches for the uh, cruising spinnaker, which is an option on the Nordhaven motor sailor. These uh, self-tailing winches are also on electric button. There's a bail back aft here of this stanchion here that gives you a, a place to attach a turning block. And uh, then I also have hose pipe for, for docking. Here's that starboard boarding door I mentioned earlier. And then up forward, there's a barbecue and sink area, which is really fantastic for entertaining back here. People can be sitting around enjoying themselves. You can be cooking up some burgers or steaks or chicken. And uh, there's also, right below, a little drinks refrigerator. On the port side of this aft patio deck, I have my propane locker right down below the seat. Easily accessible right here for refilling your propane fuel, which is used for the barbecue and also for the, uh, the galley stove. And then I have my other self-tailing winch electric that's used for the spinnaker. There's a little locker with access down here for servicing that winch. And then I have the stairs, a little ladder right here that gets me up to the boat deck where we keep the tender. So it's a nice little area over here. We have a very nice access to the lazarette right here. Because we're so high off the water, we have a lot of headroom down below. And this is really a great feature. There's a handrail right here for grabbing on and I have a set of steps it allows me to come right down into the lazarette very easily and we'll cover the lazarette area a little bit later but just wanted to show you how nice this is how much room there is down below here for storage probably a lot more room than any other sailboat in this size anything under 60 feet some little details to point out on the barbecue console there's a diesel deck fill there's also a salt water and a fresh water wash down and you have an AC electrical outlet appliance for plugging in anything you need to uh, just some nice little touches that Nordhaven puts into our boats.